local news TV are very excited to be at Moggerhanger Park this evening because it's the launch of Taste of Bedfordshire and we have two very exciting guests, Jean-Christophe Nivelli and Keith Floyd who will be joining us this evening. John Christophe, first of all, you are fairly local to, uh, to this area. What brought you along tonight? Um, well, first because my, my way of expressing myself was not only from my mother, who has inspired me so much by going to the market and using only with a very low budget, very good quality produce, but also that by going on with my own life um, as a chef, I've managed to express himself purely and simply because having the consistencies and also the credit of having good quality produce. Now, as you know, I live in an area. I've got a wonderful cookery course, school, which is no the Novelli Academy, which is now worldwide very recognized. And I think I have to say, the things as a foundation who keep me going with so much excitement is the fact that I've got myself a garden I'm very fortunate to have and I grow every year more and more as much being versatile mm -hmm. numerous amount of vegetables and fruits trying to keep you know the heritage with some apples figs and so on and I think that's what keeps you going it's, it's, it's fabulous it's good for your health you know, you can enjoy the test and um, you can initiate your, your, your friends, your children, and, and it's, it's a good asset to, you know, to enjoy yourself in life. Tell me, uh, what are your thoughts on, on local produce? Obviously very different in Thailand and, uh, and the south of France. Oh, absolutely, but um, I come from Somerset and I was born during the Second World War and uh, I lived in a small agricultural village where the farmers literally drove their cattle to the market by hoof, where people went ferreting for rabbits, mushrooming. So I'm very much of origin a country person. And of course, because there was rationing on at that time, we had to be very self-sufficient. And so my father, who was a great gardener, and my mother, who was a great cook, combined, despite our very limited income, to give us the most wonderful food. And, and do you actually get some of the produce from Bedfordshire when, you, when you're cooking as well? Yeah, I mean, obviously, the, 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 the first apport is obviously using the locals. First, I think it's nice to support them. Some of them don't even make a living. You know, they probably can't even make, uh, you know, enough to finish the month. They need support. I think it's important to be able, why do you have to buy from, you know, so far, if you can get it from next door? Therefore, that means you, you can have them a bit longer with your, yourself. And you are, before all, uh, returning the quality, the, the vitamins, the minerals, and the enjoyment to cook, something, you know, mm -hmm will give you far more results. Uh, farmers markets, local produce, I support 100%. Sadly, uh, I'm not a political person, but I don't believe our successive governments have paid the, the attention to our farmers, our fishermen, and our, our vegetable growers and stuff like that. Uh, for me, it's a, it's, it, it's a scandal that uh, these hard-working people, as Jean-Christophe mentioned, many of whom are barely scraping a living, and it all seems to be down to Brussels and stuff like that. We've sold out our gastronomic sovereignty to the European Union, and I'm totally against it. <laughs> Now talking to Madeleine Russell again, who's the leader of the County Council. Well, nice to see you, Madeleine. I see you've got a book. Yes, well, it's wonderful to have Jean-Christophe here tonight and to be such an advocate for tastes of Bedfordshire. I mean, as, as a good chef, he believes in good local produce. And um, so he's, he's really happy to be promoting what we're doing with Tastes of Bedfordshire because there's nothing better than local produce cooked quickly from the field or wherever to... Um, make something taste really good. 